Welcome back to my channel, License Immigration. Today I will show you how to fill out the newest version and 400 application for naturalization part 5. I will guide you step by step. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. Also, turn on the notification bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. If you want to have a better understanding of you need to watch the whole video. So let's keep on filling out this form. Be aware every page of the form you must write in or type in your alien registration number. So right now I'm in part 12, I'm continuing filling this out. Remember you need to fill this out, the option that belongs to you. So I'm not going to read it, I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to go through that question and answer it, where you can have a better understanding. Also be aware fees may vary time to time. Here, because it has okay, and then here now. Do you have it okay? Here it keeps going. There's a lot of questions, guys. Speak to truth in these questions. It's basically about criminal history. Um, if you've been in the United States before, um, if you committed a crime, and have you been in probation? Um, Also be aware you could print this form, you could fill this form in the computer, type it in, and you may print it out or also fill it out by hand with black ink. Remember if sometimes the programs from the computer doesn't let you fill in some choices, some blanks. So you can use um black ink. Also your CIS.gov now gives lets you have the chance to fill it out online. If you like to do it online and the fees you may pay online as well. And the fee right now is applica application is 640. Biometric fee 85, a total of 725. And like I explained before, always verify the fees. You want to send in the correct fee. In part 13, applicant statement, classification, and signature. So here, applicant statement regarding the interpreter. You can interpret the full this in. Um, you'll fill this in. And if you're prepared, fill this in for you. He must also provide this information. And here you will do your signature black ink and remember if you do not complete fill out this application or fail to submit required documents that's in the structure and you'll see your S may deny your application also provide the date your signature and here's a certification statement that you must read through uh, and have an understanding of this and then here it gives you the interpreter blanks to fill this in if the interpreter help you out and prepare as well and then this part 16 signature at the interview do not complete this part the UCIS officer will ask you to complete this part at the interview part 17 renunciation of forging titles do not complete this part until UCIS officer instruct you to do do as in the interview most people do not have a foreign heritage title like heritons so that's not apply to them in part 18 oath of allegiance do not complete this part as well only one of UCIS officer will ask you to complete this part of the interview if you see I approve your application, you must take this old allegiance to become a U.S. citizen. In a limited cases, you have been modified to oath. The old requirement cannot be waived unless you are unable to understand many of the physical or development of severe mental impairment. So 
So guys, remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. Also turn on the notification bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Stay tuned for new videos and have a blessed day.